I'm going to ask y'all. Y'all are going to come use me. Amen. Father God, but under your care, Father, thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Thank you for each and every person, every precious man, woman, and soul, and true love, Father. Hallelujah. Oh God, we thank you for the child of God, God. Hallelujah. We thank you for the gold coins, Hallelujah. That you're raining down from heaven, God. Hallelujah. Upon the church, glory to God. Hallelujah. Upon your true church, God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh God, we thank you, sweet Jesus, God. Hallelujah for keep, keeping us and guiding us, God. Hallelujah. Oh God, making a crooked path straight, Father God. That we'll walk down your down your street, down your down your pathway, God. Hallelujah. Oh, down the narrow pathway, God. Hallelujah. That we'll see your face in glory forever, Father. Hallelujah. Oh, God, we thank you, sweet Jesus, God, for all the things you're doing in true life, Father. Hallelujah. Oh, God, we thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, God, for the bountiful blessings that you're bestowing upon your church, Father. Hallelujah. Oh, God, we just thank you, sweet Jesus, right now, Father God, for the wonderful word going forth, Father God, for the wonderful panel, God. Hallelujah. Oh, God, for your wonderful word, God. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, well, thank you for the blessings, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God, for giving us a tongue, God, to magnify your name, Father God. Hallelujah. Oh, tell God to lift you up, Father God. Hallelujah. Oh, God, to praise you, God, to edify you, sweet Jesus, God. Hallelujah. To serve you, Father God. Thank you for a mind that's made up, Father. Hallelujah. A heart that'll serve you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, God, we just praise you, God, and thank you for this day, Father God. And, oh, God, we ask you, God, just to bless the proceedings this day. We pray us in your mighty name, Father. Oh, hallelujah. Let your truth say amen. Thank you, Jesus. Keep your job. Yes, very, very important uh, uh, panel tonight. And those of you viewing by way of YouTube, Again, you need to fully understand, and if you, whatever you're doing, stop what you're doing Amen. and pay close attention to yes. this panel discussion tonight. Certainly, of your blessing to you. In Ephesians fifth chapter, and our uh, reading text was from verse thirteen. But all things that are approved are made manifest by the light. Whatsoever. Doth make manifest in the light. Wherefore he said, Awake thou that sleepest. Arise from the dead, and Christ shall give thee light. The light here in, in context means again uh, knowledge of the truth. Amen. So then they that walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. Wherefore be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. Now again, we're going to uh, use the Bible context for uh, the will of the Lord, and we hope that everyone is prepared and attentive. Uh, brothers and sisters, these are the last days. The enemy 
is attacking God's church like a flood. And I've said many times, uh, you have to know a creature by the content of his character. And the Bible says, not out of the mouth of one witness, but out of the mouth of two witnesses, two or three witnesses, the truth is, is uh, made known or the truth is revealed or made manifest. Uh, now, yesterday, over the news, uh, seems that another holiness pastor has fallen uh, by way of sin. And that sin being sodomy, sodomy uh, Pastor Long of Atlanta, Georgia, who emailed me several times uh, back in the late 1990s, early 2000s, uh, where he wanted me to come to some of his uh, conventions. And uh, of course I didn't go, but I didn't go because of uh, his character at that time, because I didn't know anything about him. Amen. But a lot of times you don't know how to buy a person, best to leave him alone. That's right, Bishop. Amen. Amen. <laughs> now, again, uh, it's been not out of the mouth of one, but I believe he has two accusers of accusing him of being a sodomite. Now, you know it's sad when a man has to fight the devil to keep from committing fornication. Amen. But what kind of struggle does a man have to keep from committing sodomy. Teach, Robert. Amen. You know, this is and again, I've tried to warn the people. And you know, anytime you see all these mega church pastors, these T.D. Jakes, Kenneth Copeland, Joyce Myers, and you notice, they never speak against sodomy. They never speak against lesbian, lesbian behavior. Don't you know there's a reason for that? Hallelujah. And if you really want to equate this, uh, T.D. Jakes, who just, as I've shared on several occasions, made the statement that Ruth and Naomi were in a lesbian relationship and that David and Jonathan were in a, a, a sodomite relationship. And uh, when you take and establish who the story is coming from, T.D. Jakes, and then you equate this uh, Bishop Long in Atlanta, Georgia, and know the, the resemblance they have in so far as their ministry goes Amen. and the friendship that they have. And then you get begin to put two and two together and you sure ain't gonna come up with five. Amen. You'll come up with four every time. Amen. So brothers and sisters, you've got to understand when I tell you that the true light is the only light that God has made manifest in this evil dispensation of time, you need to pay close attention to me and to the ministers that I have raised up and trained to speak what thus saith the Lord. Now with that in mind, and I want to also uh, kind of just reflect on uh, Jude and his warning to